away in some dusty place and uh, have never reevaluated the business. And oftentimes the insurance coverage is woefully inadequate. And many of them were not drafted with the backup provisions of the appropriate how things are going to be funded if insurance is inadequate. Uh, whether sometimes it's sometimes promissory notes. Oh, they don't have any insurance. Yeah, right. yeah so yeah. you have somebody's going to get, um, this is a technical term, screwed. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be either the family or the partner, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so if you were to graph this, um, so money at the top and age, and let's assume you have a death benefit like this. So, okay, so death benefit. When you buy insurance, and if you look at the actual illustration or actual projection, you're gonna see that the cash value goes up over time. Cash value. And whole life, where the name comes from, is you're supposed to have it for your whole life, and at age 100, your cash value equals the death benefit. Okay, that's how that whole concept started. As we just talked about, what happens after those policies are issued? That bond rate has trended down. Okay, so universal life, it's very easy to, when I say this, to understand it, variable life clearly. Because um, variable life, let's assume client buys policy 1995, stock market doing great, right? 2001 happens, okay, market corrects, cash value goes like this. 